Welcome, welcome to the best five minute wine podcast. I'm your host, Forrest Kelly. From the seed to the glass, wine has a past. Our aim at the best five minute wine podcast is to look for adventure at wineries around the globe. After all, great minds think alike. Let's start the adventure. Our featured winery is. We continue our conversation with Michelle Bredesen, co owner and marketing director of Carlos Creek Winery. In the previous episode, we talked about the ownership transition from Tyler's parents to you and your husband, Tyler, taking over the winery and bringing fresh new ideas. And was that uh, difficult in that transition? Yeah, I mean, there was definitely give and take on both sides. So, with the understanding that they knew that we would be coming in and that we would have some ideas, you know, we would just kind of be open with those ideas with them and what they wanted to maybe start doing before they had retired versus, you know, what what we were just going to be doing on our own after they retired. And, you know, there were some definite goals of theirs that they wanted to see happen before they retired. So it definitely was lots of conversations. And, you know, sometimes we obviously, you know, in any family, we didn't always agree. But at the end of the day, we respected that they owned it and that they wanted to see some of their ideas come to fruition. And they understood that we were going to own it. And if there was an idea that they really wanted to do that we really didn't want them to do, um, they were really understanding of that too. So it was definitely um, a lot of, just a lot of, um, a lot of give and take and it all worked out really well. Are they still active in the day-to-day operations? Yeah. So they do some things here and there. Uh, Kim Tyler's dad was primarily our outdoor um, vineyard maintenance guy, um, liked to mow lawns. So he'll continue on mowing lawns this summer. He also will be helping the guys a lot in the vineyard with pruning and um, any kind of help that they might need. So they yeah. they joke that they got to pick their favorite jobs and that's what <laughs> they get to do now in retirement. Tammy, Tyler's mom, she is doing our newsletter still. So she really likes to do those. She's also um, helping out with extra size tax reporting, which isn't the most glamorous job. (laughs) No, boy, but it needs to be done. Yes, and she understands it better than any of us. So at some point, we'll transition that because obviously that knowledge needs to reside in one of us too. But until then, she's got it. (laughs) Going to the website at uh, carloscreekwinery.com, I notice under under the... uh, your name that there's a another name at bold north cellars what is that about in 2019 we started a brewery on our same property so we have a fairly large property it's 190 acres total um so we have our winery building we've had that here since 1999 um but then in 2019 we decided to add a brewery to the property um so when that happened you know then we had the brewery name which is 22 northman brewing company we've got the the winery we also have the event business so bold north cellars we wanted to name the property so people kind of started getting an understanding that everything's at the same location but we have different businesses at the same location. So uh, we introduced Bolnar Cellars in 2020 as kind of our uh, location name. So at Bolnar Cellars, you can go to Carlos Creek Winery. You can go to 22 Northman Brewing Company. You can have your wedding here. Um, we also have Stoke and Sizzle, which is wood fire pizza and a food truck. So we have a lot of different offerings at one location. That's a great option for the visitors who come to the grounds and that they can plan multiple things for the day. In my mind, I have a definition of the word brewery, but uh, let's let's get the technical term. So definition of a brewery is um, that you're using grain basically to make a malt um, product. So that's the brewery side of things. So we make your average, your beers. We specialize in craft lagers is something that our brewer is um, very passionate about. They're a little bit more difficult to make than an IPA or um, a kettle sour. So he really likes the the idea of perfection in lagers that that needs to occur to have um, smooth and well-crafted lagers. So we also specialize in barrel program or our original blends. Because we have the winery also here, we have a unique opportunity to make really interesting barrel aged beer products with, you know, our wine barrels, our port barrels. We also do some mixed barrel aging for our wines as far as like 
using bourbon barrels and then we can use those bourbon barrels that had wine in it and also use that for the beer side of things so we get to utilize our barrel program that we were already using in our winery for our brewery as well which is very different in the brewing world in the way that we choose our barrels and how those barrels get packaged in the end of the day too thank you for listening i'm forrest kelly this episode of the best five minute wine podcast was produced by i his if you like the show please tell your friends and pets and subscribe until next time pour the wine and ponder your next adventure <laughs>